Hey guys, Jason Nedved here with Nedved Precision Shooting. Thanks for tuning in. We have a new toy. This is the L3i, their new Gen 2, I don't know what they're going to call it. Uh, but the L3i, this is a prototype for me, NPS. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this mag feels pretty sweet. This will be anodized. This bottom plate will be anodized. Nice and heavy. Feels really good. Full of rounds. We're going to test it here in the Voodoo. So the only thing I did here uh, to get it adjusted for this, because I didn't want to mess with the JE pocket here because it is set for these makes here to nice and sturdy in there. It's not moving at all. Okay, so I didn't want to adjust anything here. So the only thing I did is adjust this back plate may catch to go up there, fit in there. Oh, that, that's convenient how that works out there. But it fits nicely, got it in there. Um, real nice, feels, feels really good. Uh, but I got a few rounds in there. It's full. So go ahead and count them of how many rounds. So we'll see how it goes, how it fits, how it feels. Um, feels really good. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll tell you that right away. I do have another lovely day in South Dakota where it is, what, April now? April 14th or something like that. And it is... 31 degrees with 22 mile per hour winds, 30 mile per hour gusts. It is just not warming up here. So we're not gonna run the trigger cam or anything. We're just gonna see how well this MIG runs. I'm just gonna get some rounds done. My rifle is all is the goal and see how it goes. So that first one went in nicely. Oh yeah. So we have a little less of wind here. Just stacking them though. I don't have my spinner target out there or else we'd really... Oh yeah, there is one out there. All right, here we go. Let's really run it. So yeah, I don't know how many rounds that was, if you guys count them, I think 14. Then we'll just switch back to this one real quick. Got it. Hard to spin. Both ran great. I got eight tenths of wind out there at 100 yards. Gosh, it's windy. But yeah, that worked really good. Let me load up another load. We got nine here and uh, see how it goes. All right, got it full. Get on that spinner again. Or not full, but I think we got nine rounds in it. Uh-oh. Oh, she's getting fed weird. Let's see what's going on here. It's not a lot play there and it pushes it down. Not grabbing it. I think it's falling down too much. I need to tighten up this here. So that's just a T25 screw. I'll just move that down a little bit more. So when I put it in there and run the bolt, it pushes this mag down. So then I don't think it's catching. See how there's some slot there. 
So I will be right back. I'm gonna grab a T25 and move that down just a little bit and load it up. All right, so we're back. I adjusted it a little bit, made sure it fit in here nicely. It's not too tight. And we'll shoot that spinner again. Uh, here we go. And just run them all. I did count them this time. There's 14 rounds in there. Probably me. What's going on here? I just went over the top again. So that last couple. Okay. Felt like I went over it. No. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. Uh, as long as I can get figured out what's going on with that, I think I just need to move that down a little bit more. And yeah, I'm really happy with that. That that's nice. It feels a lot nicer, uh, better material. Let's uh, let's grab the Rim X because they claim these mags will work in the Voodoo, the Rim X, and the Megara. So let's grab the Rim X and see how it does. All right, so we're back with the Rimex here. All I did, I haven't tested it in the rifle yet, all I did is just move this up. Well, I, I guess I tested that. But all I did is move T25, move this up until it, it snapped in there. You know, you hear that? It catches that make catch, that's that's all I've done. So, we all know Rimex takes this nice mag. Let's see if we can hit that spinner again. Oh, let's see. I haven't shot this rifle for a while. All right, so we confirmed it is a Remax. This rifle is a Remax. Runs just fine with that. Now let's test with this mag here. All right, let's see. Oh, it's doing that same thing. Last one. So there you go. Ran in the Voodoo, ran in the, Ren ran in the Rim X. <laughs> All I did is adjust that up and down. Ran just fine, we had that small snag. I don't know if I'm rim locking it or what. I don't think, I have no idea. Smarter people than me will figure that out. But yeah, so far so good. I am going to now go grab the Bagara. Let's go see how it runs on there. And then again, I'm just going to adjust that to fit in the Megara and uh, see how it runs on that. So we're back with my Megara Carbon. We'll run leg out of here. Again, I haven't shot this rifle for a while. So we're gonna shoot this real quick, just to make sure everything's functioning fine. going on here. Mm. Huh. I said I haven't ran this one for a while. Let's 
Let's get rid of that round. There we go. Oh, unless I do it again. Doing it again. Goodness. Almost need a adjustable make catch for that. Just to send that. Holy cow, the wind just picked up. Okay, well, this is Bagara. It's almost like we need an adjustable make catch for that. Note that. Let's run this. Well, first one fed. Like I said, the only thing I changed on this is I had to move this back down, uh, kind of like where the voodoo was at, a roundabout area. And it's running great. So same egg, L3i, you can see there, prototype for NPS, that's me. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. Uh, give me an opportunity to run this right off the bat. Obviously all three rifles um, ran great. I would definitely, obviously, this is the very first time I ran it. I didn't run it off camera, nothing like that. So the few hiccups I had in the Voodoo, I think we can just work that out. Uh, the Rimex ran great, the Bagari, the Bagara ran great. Um, Struggled with this mag, but with this, with that adjustable mag catch, we can just get in this MPA here and uh, get it going. So these mags, they will be available on our website, hopefully real soon. Go onto the website if you're looking for them. Uh, you can have an email reminder, so as soon as they go in stock, they will uh, send you an email notification that they are in stock. So feel free to do that on our website, website nedvedpersonshooting.com. Running great, absolutely love it. Let's uh, let's give it some more tries here in the near future with some matches. But yeah, guys, this this is feeling good. 14 rounds uh, for a mag for all these different brands. It's gonna. I think they're gonna go quick. So make sure you sign up for that email reminder on the website. Thanks, you guys. We'll see you at the range.